We're setting up a school privately funded from scratch, available to local kids of all abilities. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to sunny Scotland. Welcome to Waterloo Road. Thank you, Bonnie Marker. We've got a new school with new faces, but the same old drama. A year ago, this was a working school here in Greenock. Now it's the new set for Waterloo Road. My name's Tommy Knight and I play Kevin Skelton. I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes at your favourite show. Now, despite what you think, us actors don't wake up and look this beautiful every morning. No, it requires a lot of careful time and effort to make us look this good. So welcome to the makeup department. Here is where the magic happens. Now we have a couple of uh, our more seasoned veterans here having a bit of slap on at the moment. It takes some of them a little bit more time than others. I need makeup, Thomas. Without it, I look like a 22-year-old Adonis. Shoot, please. Alright, oh, now every day we have two sets currently on the go. That's two crews working simultaneously. Now, as you can imagine, that makes things a little hectic around the school. Who do we have here? It's my dear chum now. Smoking. Say that again. Connor! Connor, you need to get out, come on! What she's done, she's ruined everything. Connor, move! Move! I'll leave you in Naveed's capable hands to take you further behind the scenes at the new Waterloo Road. Right, if you follow me now, I'll show you the mastermind behind all the set designs and props and stuff. And this is the art department. Tina over here. You're right. I'm all right. How are you? Very well, thank you. I'm here basically to pick your brain about the transition from Rochdale to Greenock. Well, it so happens I have pictures here to show you. Oh! Cast your memory back. There's the hall in Rochdale. Rochdale. We packed everything up. And you brought it all across? Yep. I think we were there for about a month packing the school up. So right, so if we wrapped in November... Uh-huh. When did this process begin? Straight away. Straight after? Straight after. So we used a lot of stuff from Rochdale we then? We used loads. The brief was same but different and we wanted everybody to still feel that it was Waterloo Road yeah. and we wanted to keep the characters the same, obviously. The, mm -hmm. the you know, So all their personal belongings, their style, everything yeah. like that had to remain. But then also we had a whole new world of new characters. Yeah. And so... That was the exciting thing. Yeah, I mean, straight away, as soon as I walk into the into the new hall in Greenock, I get uh -huh. the, you know, the stained glass windows. They sort of bring back Rochdale to me straight away. But one of my main designs was literally uh, to incorporate the stained glass into the front of the school as well as inside. Yeah. Uh, just kind of enhancing what is known as Waterloo Road. If you'd like to follow me now to the editing suite. It's a, it's a department that I'm quite familiar with. As you can see, we have some editors uh, working their magic at the moment. Ooh, do not disturb. Ah. Hello, Caroline. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, and you? This is our lovely editor, Caroline. Hello, hi. <laughs> So what is it that you do here? I work with the director to choose the best shots to make an interesting sequence for the audience. That's our aim, basically. Oh. Do you have any footage we can look at now? Yeah, there's a sequence I particularly like that we've done recently, which I'd love to show you. Oh, the water. <laughs> oh. That was the coldest day of my life. No, I think it's, it's just so dramatic because, I mean, once we added the music on and put it together, yeah. it's one of those sequences that just makes you kind of shiver with 
kind of emotion. It's just so dramatic. I mean, it looks amazing because we shot it from so many different angles and then to see how you sort of chopped it together. And you, well, you, I had about 30 minutes plus material um, and the deck director and I um, cut it down to a sequence that's about three oh, minutes right. long. And the weather was changing a little that's bit, it, but so you don't you notice, which I, is brilliant. No, that's amazing. <laughs> Caroline, thank you once again for doing a terrific job. My pleasure. This lady makes me look great. I must say, you know what? She is top dollar. Oh, sorry about that. Almost got lost. These are all our warm coats for the really, really cold days. You know, keep your actors warm. But I'm gonna head into the costume department now. And this is where we are all dressed and our personalities come to life as characters. And I'm going to introduce you to the lovely Angela. She tried to hide, but we got her. Here she is. And uh, she's one of the masterminds behind all of our costumes. And she helped to uh, prep me with Oh, I forgot my yeah. tie still wrong. So you have all of our costumes in here? Yeah, I've got all the ties over All there. the ties, oh, so yeah, we got, everyone's got their own individual ties, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think I was accused of robbing Phoenix's once, but yeah. Um, they've all got their names on and we keep them all knotted so that they're the same for continuity. Yes. Not everybody is trained to leave them tied though. Right, I see. I, I know if I do that the next morning, uh -huh. you know, I might be in a bit of trouble. Only the really good ones like Tariq. There we he go. He his tie. <laughs> Leading by example there. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure and I really hope you enjoy the show. Love you all. Mwah. Out everybody, give the man some privacy now. Ooh.